Well hello there, greetings from Old Hampshire, Old England and today is the 23rd, or is it 22nd, I can't remember, um, of, uh, oh, um, yeah, yeah, March, yeah, it's still March. I'm getting a little bit mad, you see, it's the sun. I went completely mad last year this summer, I'll have to be very careful. Um, but anyway, uh, here we are in um, uh, rural Old Hampshire, Old England. And uh, those uh, beautiful pink blossoms I was just taking a look at. Uh, those are Julia's um, peach trees. And uh, yeah, things are moving on quite marvellously. These are my pyramid pears. And uh, they're moving on. Here's the plum blossom coming on. This is always a very scary time uh, because uh, if the plum blossom comes a little early, the weather's wrong, the weather's dodgy, then you won't get any plums out here. I'm, what am I doing? Oh yes, um, here we are. Pears. These uh, rootstocks came a little while ago through the post. It is too busy right now uh, doing the mowing weather being perfect for mowing. So give me a hand, so I'm just uh, lifting these up. These were healed in. Healing in basically means you just pull back a bit of uh, with the uh, spade and you uh, heal them in. Temporary holding place. Here are the rootstocks by the way I put out another video. Just walking past the uh, vegetable garden as the leaks. By the way, these are carrots, pretty good carrots. Glad to see my dear friend Mr. Mayor Bad Voodoo um, planting some vegetables. And uh, yeah, it's a good thing. Carrots are one of the best things to grow. And I'm going to plant these um, peri pear seedlings. They're not actually peri pear seedlings, they're seedling pear rootstocks. Seedling pear rootstocks. Uh, in this area here, it's a little bit of an indeterminate sort of area here. Uh, we've changed our mind about what we were going to do with this several times. This little section called the Peace Orchard. It's a little bit of a mess. We planted some wildflower seeds here. Here's a bit of elder. Uh, but what I'm principally doing uh, here is gradually converting this over to a peri-pear orchard. This is going to be an orchard of standard pear trees that they should reach 60, 70 feet tall and live for well over a hundred years. So yeah, I'm 55, so you know, I'm making an investment in the future here. Who can tell what will happen? Uh, so I'm going to plant these slightly randomly, but far enough away from the other trees. And who knows what will happen to YouTube, maybe a hundred years from now, maybe in uh, you know, 2110 or whatever, people will be looking at this. Maybe the world will have ended by then, certainly Western civilization. Um, anyhow, this is a big uh, peri -pear. You can see this has grown strongly from last year. This is a three year old tree, or is it two years old? Um, this is a peri pear variety, is Winnells Longdon. Over there, he's pasted out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and a bit big paces. Here is uh, another one which is Blakeney Red. These are quite young trees, they're on seedling pear rootstock. Uh, that pear tree over there, which is in one of the videos from last year, that is. Uh, on Quince A, and it's about 15, 16 feet tall. We picked a good deal of pears from that. Um, this one eventually should reach maybe 60 feet tall. There's no question of picking them. You sort of give them a shake, or you wait for them to fall down, you put them up off the ground. Oh, by the way, there's some, uh, some of this a bit of a random ramble just turning into, uh, they're just outside the rabbit fence. Yeah, that's a nice stack of wood, very neatly. Place. This is the pruning, these are the, the big bits of the apple trees we've been pruning. This will be laid up 
and mature for one year, preferably two, before it goes to warm our home. Anyway, so about 12 paces apart, my pace is about 35 feet. Going to plant these rootstocks about 35 feet apart and slightly randomly, slightly randomly, we don't want too much in the way of straight lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, and twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh, that's good. Oh, I can't plant a peri pear tree here because here's one I planted last year, which is a variety brandy. Well, this one, this is it'll be, it'll be its first year in the ground. It was planted in the autumn, and this is a peri pear called. Brandy, it's just starting to get moving. So I'd better pace out. Oh, and there's another one. Um, I'd better pace a little bit from here then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it's a, a likely sort of place. Hey, they're going to be a little bit of a straight line. I don't think I'll break my heart about that. Right. See where my feet are? I'm going to put a peri pear tree in there.